All right, World Metrological Day showcases the essential contribution of national metrological and hydrological services to the safety and well-being of society and is celebrated with activities around the world. The themes chosen for World Metrological Day reflect the topical weather, climate, or weather-related issues. Mm. You know, it's so interesting how... Because... Um, Lately, I've been following um, some online television channel that I really love. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I've been watching them online in the UK. And, you know, every time the lady that comes up with the weather just comes up to start to talk about the weather and they say it was sponsored by Times Radio. But I'm just wondering, like, come, why would they give weather reports <laughs> for this country? Well, you would understand because the weather in the UK, ah, <laughs> do not joke with it. It's very bipolar. <laughs> You know, like you literally must always check what the weather would be like in the UK. Yeah. You know, when I traveled, like, it was crazy because mm -hmm. like there was a day I literally was feeling my, I was feeling my bone, my rib cage <laughs> cracking. <laughs> you know, it was like I underestimate because I actually love the cold weather. Mm. So like I always test my, but, uh, ability, my ability to withstand. Cold threshold. <laughs> <laughs> my ability to withstand the cold, but hey. I mean, so when you see those women, the news anchors, mm -hmm. talking about the weather and all of that, it's so interesting to watch. And we used to have that. I don't know if we still do. Maybe yeah. or we are watching the wrong TV channels because <laughs> I don't know why we don't give weather no, reports. Because it's, it's always good. Like mm -hmm. the, the weather lately, oh my goodness. It's like they released, so this, they, they released the, what's it called, volcano <laughs> on us. Well, country. <laughs> on Lagos, because I don't know about any other part of the Nigeria right oh, it's now. The same, it's the same thing everywhere. Actually. Really? It's really hot everywhere. Extremely Abuja, hot. Extremely so hot. these days now, I always remember to mm. take the window, um, the, take down the, the window just by a little, yeah. so the air, when your car is parked, so mm -hmm. that the air, you let out the air, because mm -hmm. the heat, hmm. when you come into your car, like it's almost like suffocating, <sighs> you know, so. Do you know what happened to me? Um. Was it? Yeah, this morning, I got into the car. It was really hot. I was just going to buy something. And I didn't even know what was going on. For a, for a second, I'm like, wait. You why blank is, out. What's going on here? And I wound down and then I felt it. I'm like, okay. I thought something was going on with me. No, it's been yeah. so hot. And lately. truly, you can actually pass out. Mm. So you must stay hydrated. Yeah. You must always have something, you know, you know just yeah. to, to, to keep yourself hydrated. Then for those driving, once your car is parked, just take it down by a little a bit. bit so that it lets out. Because really, when you sit, in, when you go into the car like that, mm -hmm. you sit in, you know, especially if you're in a rush. Yeah. But if you're not in a rush, you can leave the just cars open for a bit before you go in. Cool. But if you, are, if you know you would always be in a rush mm -hmm. when you get into your car, just leave the window down. just by a, a tiny, you know, just let the air mm -hmm. just let out. Because two days ago, uh, it was like I was going to blank out. Mm -hmm. So that was when I started being conscious now. Oh, well, you have to take yeah. down the window. Just take it down a bit. The weather is really, really, really hot. Very hot. I'm happy really it hot. rained yeah. this evening, though. So I'm least... happy. The weather is really hot. So, okay, so let's um, see what we found in the news. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, our um, Ekwere Madu, wife found guilty of organ trafficking. So I've been following this story for a bit because I was a bit... When I heard about it first, I was trying to... Okay, I was trying to make excuses because I'm like, maybe they didn't really mean that. Maybe that's not what happened. Maybe this, maybe that. But... Now, they've actually been found guilty, and he's the former Sen Deputy Senate President, Ike Kweramadu. His wife, Beatrice, have been found guilty of organ trafficking in the United Kingdom. The duo, alongside their daughter, Sonia, and the medical doctor, Dr. Obina Obeta, were found guilty of facilitating the travel of a young man to Britain with a view to his exploitation after a six-week trial at the Old Bailey. They criminally conspired to bring the 21-year-old Lagos street trader to London to exploit him for his kidney, the jury found on Thursday. This is pretty sad because I can imagine how excited that boy would have been leaving this country. Even his family, you know, our son is going to Obodoibo. Not knowing that their son was actually traveling for him to get exploited, for them to harvest his organs. Now, I'm now asking myself, how, how would families feel now? Does it mean that they're going to ask questions when someone says, oh, let's take your child or no, let's take on. this person? Calm down, calm down. Mm. What uh, organ were they looking for again? Kidney. Okay. So we all know mm. that kidney is one thing that, you know, you can live with one kidney. Mm. And people willingly... No, let's be realistic. I'm happy that the courts have found them guilty. guilty mm. You know, again. But you know that there were also some speculations mm. 
this is like this boy also he like he, he was clearly aware of what he was going to go and do you know but he just felt like you know what maybe when we get there first we'll get to that bridge and i'll cross it he, he was in full knowledge of what he was going mm -hmm. there to do um so let's not now try to paint it you know so because again some people willingly I've seen people of that course, have given their, course, their kidneys the kidney. out. Mm -hmm. You know, I know someone that gave her sister her kidney. I know somebody that gave her boyfriend her, her, her kidney. No, he was you know, doing it kidney at some, some point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was a thing that like you help, you know. So, and again, people actually sell, mm -hmm. you know, their, their, what's it called? Because they know that they can survive on one kidney. Boy. We had a, a kidney doctor yesterday, yesterday yeah. you know, talking about kidneys. So, I mean, it's not, it's a no-brainer mm. that, you know. But I'm happy that at least the courts have found them guilty, mm. which is what... We are hoping in Nigeria would happen okay. with our judicial system that whether regardless of what class you are, who you are, yeah. if they check the facts, they do the fact checking and they find, and they you, find you, they should pronounce you guilty. That's the only thing I'm happy about. Like this, the process was duly followed and now they found them guilty. But what I'm even trying to say is that beyond this guilt, yeah. this young boy knew exactly yeah. what he was going to go and do. Right, so it's not something that mm -hmm. you know. It's like maybe they deceived him. You know, you can't go and harvest somebody's organ because even before he would get there, they would have Moved tested yeah. to be sure that the He's kidneys okay. match. Yeah. So I mean, let's because uh, all these kinds of um, sensational stories. No, but then we don't even know the reason, right? I, maybe if they had told us it was for so, so maybe um, in K. Kuramado himself needed a kidney or his wife or his daughter or something, but we don't know. So why exactly? No, it was his daughter. His daughter now. It was his it. daughter. Ah, the story right. came out now. The daughter, it, 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 she's, she's, um, she, she needs kidneys. Okay. She, her kidneys are failing or mm, something. Mm. It's the daughter that needs the oh, kidney. Okay. So they were trying to find a match for the daughter. Okay. And they found this young boy. Eventually when they got there, I think it was the boy that now raised the lamb and all. Because I think the boy just really planned them. It was just not a good day for them because I'm sure they would have arranged Skill everything. Through in the first yeah. Place, yeah, I can't just take you to the UK mm -hmm. when I know that your kidneys yeah. don't match. I would have done all the all tests. tests. So I mean, sure. it's just so sad. You know, this type of thing. That's why it's always good. Don't follow anything mm -hmm. illegality. Even if you are giving me your kidney for free, let us sign, sign an agreement an exactly. that you did not. You were not doing it under the influence. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So my story is actually going to be tied somewhat to what we're discussing. I actually have two stories. Um, one, let me quickly talk about the, the first one, the Festus um, Kiamo, mm -hmm. S-A-N. It says, earlier today, I had submitted a petition to the Department of State Services against Mr. Peter Obi and Dati Baba Ahmed to rein them in, or to rein them in for their conduct and utterances which border on incitement and treasonable felony. A call for peace and national healing does not amount to weakness. Um, so... If you check the post, he has the petition. He's written to DSS in Abuja. He says, I write this petition with full realization that in a post-election period such as this, there is need to soothe frayed nerves, lower the temperature, and begin the healing process. The president-elect, Ashwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has issued a statement to this effect a few days ago. However, it appears that president and vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party Mr. Peter Obi and Dati Abba Ahmed are prepared to tow the conciliatory part of, for the sake of peace and national cohesion whilst exercising their rights to pursue duly laid down constitutional means of addressing their grievances. In this regard, since the declaration of the, president's, um, the presidential results, uh, comments and claims about declaration of the president-elect by independent whatever, that these comments and claims are made not just within the boundaries of exercising their right, but freedom to... Long and short story is that outright truncation of <laughs> that they cross the line to call for the outright truncation of democracy by insisting that the adoption of other processes outside the contemplation. You know, this must have been grammar. Lots. But bottom line is that he too has filed his own petition mm, to okay. the DSS. The only question I want to ask um, our beloved SAM, Professor Skiamo, is that um, where are the inciting comments? Let him just. I want to sure. see because I have not. I have not seen any inciting comment. Yeah. Rather, there was one guy that tweeted. Um, was it on uh, the day after the governorship election? Yeah. Um, so um, on Sunday, yes, after the mm -hmm. governorship election, by Onanuga. I think that's the person. You know, he's in the media team of yeah. the APC, APC. candidate, yeah. and he he said some very inciting word um, comments it's around the the evil, yeah, tribal, and all of that. Why are we not? So you see, the thing I don't have a problem with you writing petition. Whatever but you see, whatever yeah. it, you want to do, be seen to be fair. 
and call out what is wrong across board, even if the person is person. a member of your household. Yeah. Yeah. So do not call one good or do not turn a blind eye like you did but, not see one thing mm -hmm. and not condemn another. Mm -hmm. Th that's all I am always clamoring for. Try as much as possible to be fair. Don't be seen to be biased, right? They were inciting statements that were made, mm -hmm. very heavy ones mm -hmm. that were made that would really agitate, you know, the political space. Yeah. But you have not called out those people, you know, and you're not saying, you know, well, yes, yes, they will handle it. So another story I thought to mention, because we had mentioned it yesterday, <laughs> and I'm thinking to bring in our doctor again, again. to discuss the legalizing of cannabis, right? Um, so because most parts of the world, right, are slowly um, um, legalizing um, cannabis, the use of cannabis, medical, like, you know, you know, some people actually medical use purposes. it for medical yes. purposes, yeah. right? So there says the rep clash over the bill to legalize marijuana. Um, some members of the House of Representatives clashed on Wednesday, seeking to legalize um, cultivation, sale and use of cannabis, also known as marijuana for commercial purposes. Um, so two members of the House um, had sponsored a fresh bill seeking to amend this National Drug Law Enforcement Agency Act to expand the scope of anti-narcotics agencies to issue licenses, rather, for the cultivation, sales, and use of marijuana. And um, the, the legislation was titled a bill for an act to amend the National um, Drug Law um, Enforcement That's Agency expensive. Act, CAP, N30. Um, so, you know, the reason I'm actually taking this story, so after the show yesterday, we had a very extensive conversation on cannabis and the medical um, effects and all mm -hmm. of that, the medical use Benefits. and all. So the thing is, what the doctor was saying, that in the parts of the world where it has been legalized, mm -hmm. that most of those places, you actually find safe marijuana. Very safe. You know, the ones that are grown, there are no mixtures. Mm -hmm. You see, but you see places where you then now have this no ban and all of that you get a lot of laced. So they lace it with a lot of chemicals, a lot of very yeah. harmful um, chemicals, right? So that's why he was saying that, you know, it's important that, you know, we, um, it's important that we start to consider because he has a, a medical, he has a hospital mm. in the US mm -hmm. that solely is to Using, be administering, uh, yes, yes. Cannabis. So he, okay. he um, what's it called? He prescribes marijuana mm -hmm. for some of his patients. It depends on, so there are different types, mm -hmm. the patch, the gummies, the, what's it called, in injectables. He said all the sorts, <laughs> this, you know, so whatever tickles your fancy. Mm -hmm. But he believes strongly in the, 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 the benefit, like, the health benefits yeah. of marijuana. So, I mean, so when I just saw this story, I said, ah, you know what, it's my opportunity to still talk more. Talk about People it. are saying that we are beginning to suspect are you. you. Why, why are you chasing this? <laughs> Do you have a motive? Do you have a motive, but hey, that's, um, that's the story. So but when we come back from the break, oh, let's discuss our petition matter. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 